You know, the um, mission of the NEI is to um, uh, fund research that uh, studies um, blinding diseases. And the, the main um, uh, blinding disease is actually cataract. Um, if you, this is the number one cause of blindness worldwide, the number one. So half um, of the uh, visual blindness that, that we see in the world is really caused by cataract. That's 20 million people. 20 million. That's uh, um, three times the population of the state of Washington. It's a huge number to kind of uh, uh, to try to put um, put an image to and really appreciate. Cataract obviously is the loss of lens transparency, and when that happens, obviously it affects uh, vision. At the NEI, I think um, we've, uh, we're funding um, uh, different uh, projects um, that I would say fall into two main uh, themes. Um, one of the, the main one I would say is, or a main one is the studying development of the lens. I mean, if you want to un understand uh, uh, disease, uh, you will need to understand uh, normal development first. And so we have um, a good number of uh, projects at the NEI that um, analyze that. Another main theme, I would say, is uh, studying more specifically disease processes related to cataract development. Um, and these, uh, I would say, involve two ma main threads. Um, uh, a major one is understanding the dysregulation that you see in homeostasis. Um, th that's, um, that's a key process, uh, and that's uh, one of the ways that it can lead to um, um, loss of lens transparency. Another major um, uh, thread, I would say, is uh, understanding oxidative uh, stress and uh, different uh, insults that the environment throws on the lens and what kind of processes the lens has to deal with these uh, insults. Ultimately, we are interested, the NEI is interested in, you know, again, understanding the uh, pathophysiology um, in order to be able to develop uh, treatment and uh, also prevention, I, I would say, is uh, part of the equation. Um, that's the ultimate goal. But I think in terms of uh, um, being able to come up with these um, uh, uh, potential therapies, we need to understand the biology first, the basic biology. And for that, I would say we have a bunch of, uh, a number of different model systems that we use. Um, more specifically related to your question, um, what uh, I do as a program director, we at the NIH are very much driven by the peer review system. Uh, we uh, rely on uh, the outcome of that. Really, it's the, uh, you know, the gold crown, as you hear, for, for the NIH. Um, and so we, re we rely on these, um, uh, on these outcomes. And based on that, uh, we can make some programmatic decisions, um, again, driven by the uh, peer review um, evaluations. And from that, obviously, budget determination, de determinations trump trump everything and uh, we go with what makes the most uh, sense to uh, you know to, to to support the field you do see this uh, uh, progression um, and I would say depends on the different areas so uh, we've actually had at NEI um, um, for NEI supported research a uh, number of success uh, stories and uh, I can highlight several, but uh, maybe I can uh, take an example from the development aspect and another one from the disease aspect. Um, you know, from the development aspect, um, uh, we have this process of lens induction that has been discovered now for about 100 years, for a, for a century, over a century, if you know. And believe it or not, it continues to yield fruit. It continues to, to yield information. As a matter of fact, um, a lens grantee, um, Ellis uh, Feckel, um, uh, he had just, just this week, had a review article on PAC-6. This is a main uh, driver of lens induction. And um, it, it's, it's just to see the wealth of discoveries um, that are recent despite all the sustained work is really um, impressive. It's really, uh, it really gives you a, an appreciation for the complexity of the biology that's involved. I think we have a lot of um, really uh, cool stories in understanding these basic biological uh, processes.